Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my dear students. How are you? Hope all of you are doing well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Alhamdulillah, I am also fine. Welcome to the online class of Milestone College. This is Mohsin Kobin, lecturer, Department of Biology, Milestone College, Uttara, Dhaka. My dear students, today I am here again with some new topics from Grasshopper, which is from Chapter 2, Animals Identity. So, our today's topics are Reproductive System of Grasshopper, Metamorphosis and Role of Hormones in Metamorphosis of Grasshopper. So, after completing today's class, students will be able to learn some important questions like students will be able to explain the reproductive system of grasshopper will be able to learn what is diapause what is metamorphosis will be able to explain types of metamorphosis and explain the role of hormone in metamorphosis of grasshopper. So my dear students, I hope you will be benefited from today's class. So keep watching my video until it goes to an end. Let's start the main discussion. My dear students, before going to talk about the reproductive system of grasshopper, first of all you have to know something about the reproduction. So, what is reproduction? Reproduction, the word reproduction means to reproduce. It is a biological process by which an organism reproduces an offspring which is biologically similar to the organism. Reproduction enables and ensures the continuity of species generation after generation it is the main feature of life on earth as you know grasshopper is unisexual animals so sexual dimorphism is obviously found in grasshopper and the male and female animals are distinguished with their different characteristics and the male and female reproductive systems are basically situated in different sex. At first, we are going to talk about the male reproductive system. You can see the male reproductive system of grasshopper are consist of a pair of testes, bhasa, differentia, and ejaculatory duct, accessory glands, and seminal vesicles. So, here you can see the diagram of the reproductive system, the male reproductive system. This one is testis. Testis is the main part of the male reproductive system. A pair of testes present in male reproductive system is testis is divided into some functional units those are called follicles basically sperms are produced in follicles and then bhasa differentia a thin thread like tube arised from each testis those are called bhasa differentia basically sperms enters into bhasa differentia and these two bhasa differentia together form another duct that is called ejaculatory duct this ejaculatory duct opens outside the body through a penis and then also here present accessory gland you can see here accessory gland appears of accessory gland opens into the ejaculatory duct accessory gland basically secretes the seminal fluid and the sperm remain into seminal fluid and finally the seminal vesicle a seminal vesicles also found here near to the ejaculatory duct opens into ejaculatory duct so this is the basic structure of the male reproductive system
next one is female reproductive system you know female reproductive system is consist of ovaries oviduct vagina spermatica and accessory gland you can see here the diagram of female reproductive system a pair of ovary present in every reproductive system so this is the main part ovary is the main part of the female reproductive system is ovary divided into some subdivisions of functional units those are called ovarioles you can see here all the ovarioles together form a lateral duct in both side that is called oviduct and the oviduct two lateral oviduct together form another muscular tube that is called vagina vagina opens outside the body through a genital pore or ovipositor and here also present an accessory gland a pair of accessory gland opens into the vagina through a tube accessory gland just secrete the lubricants for the reproductive system and here you can see the spermatheca spermatheca is it is one type of coil like a uh, structure or tube here sperm are usually stored temporarily temporarily after the copulation so this is the structure of female reproductive system now the process of reproduction you know the grasshopper cause the sexual reproduction the reproductive process is completed through some uh, steps first one is mating or copulation you can see here mating of grasshopper occurs during the summer basically uh, during the copulation or mating the male eject the seminal fluid into the vagina and then the next one is fertilization after the copulation fertilization is occurred you can see fertilization is occurred through the union of sperm and the eggs nucleus after the copulation the sperm enters into the egg through micropyle and through the union of the sperm and egg nucleus fertilization is occurred and then oviposition you can see here oviposition egg lying of female grasshopper after copulation or mating is called oviposition during oviposition female grasshopper form a tunnel or short hole by using its ovipositor for lying egg or deposit its egg and then embryonic development embryonic development of grasshopper continues for three weeks until the embryo is well formed and then the embryonic development is stopped in winter during the adverse condition this is called diapause remember this one is important knowledge based question what is diapause so the embryonic development of uh, grasshopper is stopped in winter during adverse condition this phenomenon is known as diapause so these are the basic reproduction process of grasshopper now next one is metamorphosis you know the embryo of insects reaches to adult stage through a series of changes this post embryonic development is called metamorphosis metamorphosis is of two types one is complete metamorphosis and then incomplete metamorphosis first one is complete metamorphosis it is a type of metamorphosis in which an insect passes through distinct egg larval pupil and adult stages and the larva doesn't resemble the adult it is also called as 
hollow metabolism this in com complete metamorphosis is also known as hollow metabolism this type of metabolism metamorphosis found in fly bee butterfly etc next one is incomplete metamorphosis it is a type of metamorphosis in which an insect hatches from egg and egg and then goes through several nymphal stages each nymphal stages looks like small version of adult so it is also called as hemimetabolism this type of metamorphosis is basically found in grasshopper cockroach and cricket now the metamorphosis of grasshopper the metamorphosis of grasshopper is incomplete or hemimetabolous type so it passes through several nymphal stages in its life cycle you can see here the metamorphosis process of grasshopper or the life cycle of grasshopper you can see in this diagram a grasshopper after hatching from an eggs a child grasshopper passes through a several nymphal stages you can see to reach the adult stage here a five nymphal stage passes to reach the adult stage and here also uh, in every stage in every nymph stage nymphal stage the grasshopper left its cutinous exoskeleton or shell this process is called molting in between the stages of two molting this is known as instar so the phase in between two molting is called instar so through this process a uh, nymph for child grasshopper reaches to the adult stage through this several nymphal stages now the role of hormones in metamorphosis you know the secretion of endocrine gland is called the hormone there are four types of endocrine gland found in grasshopper's body number 1 intracerebral gland cell then prothoracic glands corpora alata and then corpora cardiaca first one is intracerebral gland cell it is located in brain prothoracicotropic hormone is secreted from this gland which influences the prothoracic glands to secrete hormones next one is prothoracic glands ecdysone hormone is secreted from this glands which regulates the molting in nymphal stage of grasshopper next one is corpora alata juvenile hormone is secreted from the corpora alata in nymphal stage which determines the characteristics of nymph and in adult gonadotropic hormone is secreted from corpora alata which develops the reproductive organs and final one is corpora cardiaca you know growth hormone growth hormone is secreted from corpora cardiaca so my dear students these are the basic topics that i discussed in our today's class i hope all the topics all of you understood clearly and some homeworks for you from today's discussion differences between incomplete and complete metamorphosis please write down the differences and submit this homework to your respective sw group or your to your respective subject teacher and my dear students if you have any questions or queries regarding today's lesson please ask your subject teacher
थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग विथ मी स्टे होम एंड स्टे सेफ अल्लाह हाफिज़